A few more minutes in the playpen, but soon it will be bath time. Ian is 11 months old. At the moment, his favorite pastime is playing. He's already been out in the garden today, and now it's time to get in the tub. Ian's mother Priscilla gives him a bath every day. The family recently installed a solar water heating system. They're surprised at how effective it is. The water is incredibly hot. You only have to turn the hot water tap a little. You have to combine it with a lot of cold water to get the right temperature. Otherwise, it's too hot. The water should be just warm enough to keep this little tyke comfortable. Lukewarm is the best temperature for him. This solar system heats water much more quickly than in our old house. And it uses less water. That saves us money. Priscilla Rivas and her family have lived on this street for six months. They paid about 20,000 euros for their house. They had the solar water heating system installed on the roof when they bought it. The solar system is really straightforward. The cold water runs into the tank through this pipe. From there, it's directed through the solar panel. In here, there are thin pipes and the water inside them is heated by the sunlight. Down here, the water flows out back into the tank. From there, it flows into the house, into the kitchen and the bathroom. The solar energy systems are produced here in Mexico. The technology is relatively simple, which keeps the price down. There are a thousand solar modules in this housing estate. They are designed to function even if the sun disappears for a while, so residents aren't entirely dependent on the weather. My mother still has an old system, which heats the water using gas. You have to wait forever for warm water. Here it's always warm. In the morning I can take a quick shower and drive to work. It's so much easier. The young family lives in the Los Eros de Tecamac neighborhood, which is two hours from the capital. Mexico City is experiencing a construction boom. New neighborhoods are popping up all over the capital. Eco-friendly construction and climate protection haven't been a priority here in the past. Mexico builds more houses per capita than any other country in the world. Mexico City, the capital, is home to 25 million people. It's a megacity with a major problem. Every year, 4,000 people here die from complications connected to air pollution. That's prompted Mexico's government-backed mortgage lender, Infonavit, to take action. They're offering loans to support green technology in housing construction. A solar system costs about 500 euros, far too expensive for most Mexicans. But Infonavit makes its green mortgages available to people with limited incomes. El instituto, su principal población... The main target group for our loans are workers with low incomes. These are precisely the people who build the most houses in Mexico. So we're directing our green loan program at a very large part of the Mexican population. The program is subsidized by the International Climate Protection Initiative. The subsidy means homeowners get about 100 euros towards the purchase of their solar systems. 
Altogether, 25,000 solar panel systems are to be installed in Mexican homes over the next three years. The sun shines here four times more than it does somewhere like Germany. But in terms of environmental awareness, Mexico still has some way to go. The country tends to tap its vast oil and gas supplies in order to meet the population's energy needs. The damage to the climate isn't always taken seriously. People are not necessarily aware. Uh, so far, what they spend on energy, is, on energy use has not been um, affecting so much uh, in their economies, in all sectors. But from a few years up till now, it's becoming a real problem since the energy is really increasing in costs. The Tecamac neighborhood just keeps growing. There are plans to build more than 70,000 houses here. And anyone here can equip their house with solar panels if they want to. But while government programs and promotional campaigns support the program, only 5% of potential house buyers in Tecamac actually want solar energy. Many people think this kind of energy system costs too much. They don't realize that it will save them money in the future. Just a few houses away, little Ian has finished his bath. His parents say they don't regret laying down the extra funds for the solar energy system. In the end, it's like this. Sunlight is free and we should use it. It's a real advantage for families in Mexico. The Rivas family's solar system has sparked interest among relatives. An uncle who lives a good 500 kilometers away has now invested in his own solar water heating system.